and good morning welcome back to the channel and today is a special day because today is new bike day so every bike shop loves it when you bring them food beer coffee whatever every time you go to the bike shop to do something you might as well bring them a little present because they love presents and surprises how's it going oh another coffee have a great day all right you too Nummy, 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 nummies. New bike day, new bike day. It's new bike day. Hey, what's up, Caleb? Thanks, buddy. Dun, dun, dun. So here we are. Size large, carbon, 160, 150, all mountain bike. Stoke level super high. So go ahead and got the bike in the stand. Comes with the cranks already on it. These are the dub edition cranks. They also have the shock in place already. Putting sealant in the tires. Oh yeah, look at, ooh, brand new componentry. GXT railer. What is your recommended amount of use to put in tire sealant here? Gloop, gloop, gloop. Gloop, gloop, gloop is our official setting. Gloop, 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 gloop. Then a little extra. He always does a little extra for me because I wear out all my stuff pretty quick um, as far as, you know, the seal in there and pushing the limits and not remembering to put more in there and maintenance it. So he usually just devils down on me because I don't care about the weight. Um, I just care about getting a flat tire. So he looks, he looks out for me. Now we've got both of our tires lined in. Super stoked, new bike day gonna ride. So we're gonna go ahead and go over some specs of the bike real quick. 30.88 pounds for weight wise. Uh, we're looking at a Fox 36 Flow Performance Shock with 160. We are looking at the rear shock being a Rock Shock Super Deluxe R. The rear derailleur is gonna be SRAM GX Eagle. Crank set is going to be the Dub Edition 32 Tooth 170. The set's gonna be a SRAM Eagle 1050. I like that 1050. Um, it's gonna be 12 speed. The brakes are gonna be code R. It'll be 200 mil front, 180 rear. Obviously, I, I love the 200 rear, but we'll see all that, how that pans out. Headset's gonna be Kane Creek 40. Bars are race face uh, effect R. Stem is race face effect R 50 millimeter. I might shorten that up. We have a DT Swiss 370, 15, 110, 32 hole front hub. The rear wheel is going to be 32 as well with a 12, 148. The rim is gonna be a 35 a millimeter offset. Mm, spokes are going to be DT Swiss uh, competition. The tires are going to be the Maxxis DHF 27.5 2.6-3C. Rear tire is also is going to be a Maxxis Minion DHR2. And we're going to go ahead with the C post is going to be a RockShop Reverb Stealth 31.6. And our saddle is going to be a WTB Silverado Pro. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about little, just make a bunch of about little fire cycles right now. Been building wheels for 25-ish years. Typical small custom wheel building story that is building stuff for my friends and somebody said, you should put stickers on that and sell them. And I did. And voila. And then here you are, Caleb was born. So what are we doing right here? This is the compression fitting for the hydraulic hose because it has to have a compression fitting on the end and they all come with uncut lengths of hose. Voila. When you tighten this, it's getting squashing done. Squashing complete, boot on. Both the brakes put on, the handlebars, the stem, the rear derailleur. Now we're about to put in the rear wheel that we've already put sealing in. So we went ahead and got our brake lead situation good to go because we had to resize the cables uh, that came with it to have a nice, perfect, snug fit. Here's the setup and everything looks real fancy and there's all these fittings on everything. There's multiple ones and there's just a lot more going on than I can handle. So now we've moved on to installing the seat post dropper. This is the RockShock Reverb 150 Travel. So I just wrapped up the bike. Super stoked about the bike. Uh, big shout out and thanks to Caleb at Adventure Cycles, Little Fire Cycles, has been supporting me this whole adventure I have of getting into mountain biking. So, big shout out to you guys. How good do you think the guys are at picking lines? Uh, Ross is really good. The other guy, Dusty's really good. Oh! 
You good? Did you get it? I don't know. I don't. It's blinking. 